Today we're going to learn how to create a backup of a WordPress website by using a simple little plugin called BackWPUp. Then we're going to simulate a disaster by deliberately breaking the website. Finally, we're going to restore a website from that backup. Okay, let's get started! Okay, here's my freshly installed WordPress website. All I've done with it is add a free theme, uploaded a photo here, and I've written two pages here and added them to the menu. So we have a very simple but functional WordPress site. For the next step here, we're going to add a new plugin, and it's called Back WP Up. There it is there. And we'll search for it. Here we go. Now you click install now and answer yes to that. And now we activate the plugin. Good. Now we're ready to go. And you'll notice we've got a back WP up uh, little menu here. And you have to click on it once to get it working. Then after that, you'll see that uh, when we go back to here, there's actual dashboard and jobs and backups and things like that. The first thing we want to do is add a new job. Now you want to make sure that you give the job a name. I've typed in daily and uh, that's our daily backup. Database backup, file backup. Also you'll notice DB backup. Um, click on all to get all of these uh, these extra areas and save changes. Let's go back to general and you want, I like to use a zip file because it's very easy to unzip using common tools and then we'll do a backup to a folder and we'll do a backup to Dropbox and save changes. Now you'll notice if you are also going to Dropbox or one of the online online cloud services you can just click there and you have to authenticate it. So I'm just going to authenticate using the full Dropbox. And it asks if we would like it to allow. We say OK. And now you see it's authenticated. So it's now ready to go and it'll, it'll put it in this folder, Parksville Web Design. And save changes and we are ready to go. Next step, we go to our WP Backup, and we go Jobs, and we pick Daily, and we pick Run Now. And there we go. The backup is underway, and when it's completed, we will continue with this tutorial. All right, now we have uh, our completed Daily Backup. The next thing, we're going to go and check in Dropbox to make sure that uh, that it worked. So let's do that now. Okay, now let's go down into Dropbox here. And we'll open Dropbox. And um, Parksville Web Design is where the backup, where we asked the backup to go. And sure enough, there it is. And uh, if we open up that zip file, you will see uh, all the components, all the files and folders that are necessary for WordPress or any WordPress installation to properly run. But one thing that where this doesn't match is this PAR131, etc. SQL. That's the database backup, and it doesn't really belong here, but this is where they put it in the backup. And I'll show you what to do with that later. But the important thing is, is that each of these folders um, has what we need. So now what we're going to do is break the website and demonstrate that it's broken and then restore it. Before we go ahead and break the website, um, I, I missed a step here and that is that we need to go and get that SQL backup and put it in the proper place on the web host. And the place that it's going to go is underscore db underscore backups. You'll notice that there's 
a couple of backups from other websites that I have. What we're going to do is put this 1428 SQL file in here as well. This is going to be necessary to recover from a corrupt database. All we need to do is drag it and drop it straight into DB Backups. And there's our healthy 1428 SQL file.